Hello dear friends and colleagues, we are very happy to introduce to you today our stereo coaxial illumination device for surgical microscopes which is named as OmniGlow. The name OmniGlow comes from omnipresent red glow. Dr. Ramesh Shah is a prolific cataract and LASIK eye surgeon in Bombay since 1985 who has done thousands of surgeries and who has rich experience of medical research. I am Dr. Jagdeep M. Kakadia, an eye surgeon practicing since 1989 in Bhavnagar city of Gujarat state of India. And in last 32 years, I have an experience of doing over 65,000 eye surgeries and also doing many medical, surgical, lens related and instrumental research. Bhavnagar is a small port town of half a million people situated in the Gujarat state of India. Gujarat state of India is the westernmost state of India. This is Dr. Kakadia's Akshardip Eye Hospital situated in Bhavnagar, Gujarat, India. The research and development of OmniGlow was thanks to Parampujaman Swami Maharaj's inspiration and guidance. In 2008, when we first realized the advantages and importance of the stereocoaxial red reflex, which gives excellent glow and depth perception, very nice visibility for capsular axis, trench depth control uh, is very nice due to good visibility, early perception on the PCR, very nice uh, visibility for cortical cleanup and uh, anterior capsule cleanup and enhanced pleasure and comfort and enhanced confidence of doing cataract surgery for the surgeon. I decided to buy a Lumera microscope at the cost of Indian rupees 4 million in 2009, but the bankers refused to give loan for that. In 2009, in India, 4 million or 40 lakh rupees was equal to 3 kilograms of 24 karat pure gold. In 2009, 4 million was also an equal of a decent bungalow. It was our 20th wedding anniversary and I sheepishly proposed to my wife, Hi Sakhi, let us sell out our new house plot or your 3 kilograms of gold to buy me a Lumera 700. <laughs> Rightly, this was her internal hidden natural reaction. Well. Three years ago, in 2006, I had made a homemade examer laser myself and saved her 24 kilograms of 24 karat pure gold, which was the cost of an examer laser in those days. So I thought I had a right to use 3 kilograms of gold out of that 24. She said, if you could make an examer laser, why not a Lumera device for your surgical microscope? Necessity is the mother of invention, as is said by Plato. And then I saw this picture and immediately decided to make my own Lumera device. I revisited Hermann von Hemholtz's three principles of coaxial illumination, also studied principle of stereopsis enhancer optics. Because glow and stereopsis are inversely proportionate, when you increase the glow, we also have to increase the stereopsis. I also studied principles of phase contrast microscopy as described by Fritz Zernike. We know him very well because of the Zernike polynomials. He was awarded Nobel Prize in 1953 for invention of phase contrast microscopy. Phase contrast was necessary because when we increase the transillumination only, the contrast decreases, so we have to have transillumination as well as phase contrast to get the sharper details of the transparent or semi-transparent cellular structures. After a few years of brainstorming and doing several experiments, we made our own Lumera device and named it as OmniGlow. OmniGlow is an acronym of Omnipresent Red Glow. He is Pujaman Swami Maharaj blessing the patent documents as well as the first unit of OmniGlow. Now let us see the video. OmniGlow is a small device which 
attaches under the microscope. It is quick and easy to attach and detach OmniGlow. It's an illumination in itself and when fixed OmniGlow becomes part of your microscope. In conventional illumination, there is only one sweet spot of full red glow, usually in lower and nasal tilted position, whereas OmniGlow gives full homogeneous red reflex in any position of the eyeball, in any tilt of the eyeball, in any size of the pupil. This is a case of dense PSC cataract without and with OmniGlow. <clears throat> Another case of dense BSC cataract through OmniGlow. Capsular axis is always a pleasure and we never need blue dye to do capsular axis except in cases of white major cataract. <coughs> Hydro dissection fluid wave is always clearly visible. And we can always get a hydro delineation and golden ring reflex. The FACO procedures such as chopping part of nucleus removal as well as epinucleus removal is always a very nice pleasure and always a great, with a great confidence because of the enhanced stereopsis. Blood behind the IOL becomes so visible with OmniGlow and we are never afraid to go behind the IOL because of the excellent stereopsis which it offers. The debris behind the IOL becomes so clear with OmniGlow. The cohesive or dispersive visco is clearly visible when we inject it into the anterior chamber. This is a cohesive visco. <coughs> and this is dispersive visco injection. Visco aspiration can be literally visualized till the last drop of methyl or visco comes out because of the phase contrast. We can clearly, there is no glow in small pupil. There is full glow with omni glow in even in two millimeters pupil in any tilt, any position of the eyeball. The glow never leaves you. Because of the enhanced stereopsis and nice glow, uh, refinement of the refinement and enlargement of the capsular axis is always a confident and easy pleasure. The posterior capsular rent is instantly perceived and so much better perceived with OmniGlow. Quite often, if the pupil is fully dilated, we can see the zonules so very well. <coughs> and the ghost reflex of plastic drapes are instantly removed and vanishes as soon as we switch on glow, only glow. Because of the face contrast, intercapsular cleaning is so beautifully visible and recordable. Microfibrils of the lens cortex, which are attached to the posterior capsule, are so well visible. Which allow us, uh, allows us to do a very nice posterior capsule cleaning. Star folds of posterior capsule are easily and quickly visible. So we can avoid the posterior capsule rent and catching the capsule is so, so, so well and so quickly visible. Posterior pole pathologies also can be seen right on table. The disc and the macula also can be seen. The retinal blood vessels also can be seen. And as you can notice, everything is in focus from drape to disc. OmniGlow is not just enhancement of glow, it is also enhancement of contrast and enhancement of three-dimensional perception and a saving of 4 million rupees. Due to enhancement of stereopsis, even a hypermetropic eye looks like a myopic eye. OmniGlow is a light in itself, so it can become the primary light source. Microscope's own light, fiber optic or LED, 
light becomes secondary or not necessary. Omniglow dual lights are non-fusible halo LED, halogen spectrum light emitting diodes. They have very long life of more than 35,000 working hours and at the rate of 20 minutes per surgery, they will last for more than 100,000 surgeries, which is 35 plus years. And that is probably the entire career life of, a, of an eye surgeon. Main optics are made of cultured crystal plate, which is hard second only to diamond. So it is practically unscratchable except by a diamond. All optical coatings are extremely tough and are antifungal. Its paint is bactericidal and fungicidal. So it is almost like a lifelong and evergreen kind of optical device, which is virtually service free for the lifetime. Omniglow takes about 30 millimeters of space under the microscope. However, there is always enough working distance under Omniglow. Beam splitter, video camera, handles, etc. They all remain as is where is because Omniglow attaches to the bottom objective lens of the microscope. Everything else remains, remains in its own position. Biome and Omniglow are easily and quickly interchangeable. So the same microscope can be used by a retina surgeon as well as cataract surgeons. Omniglow can be made for and fitted to any make or model of ophthalmic surgical microscope. So far we have made Omniglow for almost every surgical microscope, mainly for Lumera 300. for molar Widdle and Topcon, for Apasami's small and basic models. It was a very happy surprise for us when few doctors purchased Omniglow for the Lumera eye. Their opinion is Omniglow's glow and field is better than company's own illumination. They are using only Omniglow as light. They don't switch on Lumera's own light. He is Dr. K.K. Mehta, a leading senior eminent surgeon from Bombay, who is very clearly giving an opinion that Omniglow gives him a much better stereopsis, much better glow than the Lumera itself. This is Omniglow SL, which is Omniglow for the slit lamp, with which you can see the posterior pole pathology in the enhanced stereopsis so well that quite often we don't need OCT to diagnose many of the macular pathologies such as CSR or macular hole. More than 1200 eye surgeons are using Omniglow since last 10 years in India and abroad. In over 2 million eyes which have undergone cataract surgery under the Omniglow in last 10 years at multi-centers, multi-surgeons, there is not a single incidence of photic maculopathy so far reported or observed. Post-op CME rate was no different than the non-Omniglow microscope surgeries. Power of Omniglow lights, the photon's brightness, is almost the same as the retinal endoilluminated light. So there is no question, no worry about photic damage of macula, even for an exposure of one full hour. A retinal endoilluminator delivers 33,600 lux to macula for over 30-40 minutes of retinal surgery whereas Omniglow's light is 35,800 lux for just under 10 minutes for cataract surgery. So there is no time for photic maculopathy. In cataract surgery, time of light exposure to the macula is hardly 10 to 12 minutes. And before nucleus removal, light is too defocused on posterior pole. During irrigation aspiration, the eye is aphakic, so light is again more defocused. Only after eye oil implantation, light becomes focused and goes full on macula. And eye oil implantation and visco removal hardly takes one to two minutes. Omniglow lights are completely free from infrared or ultraviolet spectrum. They are also free from purple and blue spectrum. So macular phototoxicity is never going to be an issue. So with Omniglow, we can convert our basic surgical microscope to Zeiss Lumera 700 or I or Leica M822 stereo coaxial illumination just at a 15th fraction of the cost. 
every day in my OT, in every surgery, Omniglow gives me a nice big smile on IOL surface as per Kinji image. Not only me, it brings smile on my wife and my daughter's face also because they saved their 3 kilograms of gold. You can also save your 2 kilograms of gold by having an Omniglow for your surgical microscope. Omniglow is like a sunrise in eyes. Not only in patients' eyes. With Omniglow, there will be a sunrise in the career of the surgeon as well. We heartily thank you very much for your patient listening. Please forward this video and recommend Omniglow to your friends.